Okay, so we looked previously um, at mitosis, so now we're going to look at meiosis. Okay, so what are the goals of meiosis? The goals of meiosis are to produce gametes. Okay, so gametes, we um, know that those are the eggs and the sperm, so it's the reproductive cells. Um, so egg and sperm, egg obviously being from the female and sperm being from the male. Um, and these are going to produce four haploid um, daughter cells and they're going to be unique. So they're not all going to be the same and they're not all going to be just like the parent. You know, there's a possibility that they could be, but chances are, and a very good chance is, that they're not going to be due to crossing over. Um, so that's another point, is that there's crossing over and there's recombination. All right. um, another thing that we have to remember um, is that there's one round of uh, replication so one round of DNA replication, which is the same as in uh, mitosis, but the only difference is now is that there's two divisions, so two cell divisions, versus in mitosis we had one round of replication and one round of division, okay? and that's why we got those two identical cells versus now we have four haploid cells. Okay? Um, so pretty much we know that there's gonna be a, a metaphase one, um, uh, sorry, um, a prophase one, uh, a metaphase one, anaphase one, telophase one, and then there's going to be a metaphase, uh, prophase two, metaphase two, anaphase two, and telophase two. Okay, uh, so we're going to see what all those look like. Okay, so we're going to start off with this molecule right here, or this cell right here, um, and it's going to um, be two n. It's going to be a diploid, and um, n equals two. Okay, um, so now this is going to go cell division. Um, and this is in interphase, and after interphase, it's going to go into prophase. So in prophase, we have all the, um, the chromosomes packed, uh, similar in mitosis, um, and they're going to form these things called bivalents. Okay? And so they're going to be paired up like that. Um, two homologous chromosomes are going to be together, and that forms a bivalent. And by the way, this is prophase 1. And so one thing that we have to know in prophase 1, what happens is crossing over. And this is not crossing over. One mistake that um, people uh, make a lot is that they think that it's crossing over of sister chromatids. Uh, but the problem is, um, even though it may be a, a slight difference from what that may be, um, it's actually crossing over of homologous chromosomes. Okay? See, these are homologous chromosomes, and it's a crossing over of them. If they were sister chromatids, that would be crossing over of within this chromosome right here, and that's not what happens. So crossing over of homologous chromosomes is what we see. Okay? So after prophase 1, we're going to go into the metaphase 1, and that's just going to be the lining up. Okay? And so, like before, we have the anaphase one, and it's going to pull everything apart, but now we're pulling apart instead of sister chromatids, like in, a uh, in mitosis, we're uh, separating homologous chromosomes. Okay? So always remember what we're separating. Okay? And now we're going to the telophase one, and this just makes their own nuclear envelopes. Okay? And then cytokinesis. So now, at the end of this, uh, at the end of meiosis one, we're going to have um, two different cells. Okay? okay, so we saw previously that meiosis one uh, produced these two cells right here uh, with two chromosomes within there. Okay, so now after meiosis one, we'll go undergo meiosis two. Okay, so it has similar, the exact same steps, but now these are, um, you know, prophase two, metaphase two, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so. Um, Remember, uh, we had DNA replication um, in interphase uh, right before meiosis 1. Are we going to have that in meiosis 2? The answer is no. So no replication here, so we're going to go straight into prophase. Okay, so prophase, uh, we um, package the, the, the DNA into chromosomes. Um, so this would be prophase 2. Okay. Um, and remember in prophase 1, we had crossing over. Do we have crossing over in prophase 2? And the answer is no. So no crossing over. Okay, so now we're going to go into metaphase 2, and in metaphase 2, we uh, align the chromosomes. And in anaphase 2, we are going to separate the sister chromatids, okay? Not the homologous chromosomes, but rather the sister chromatids, okay? And then we're going to go into telophase 2, um, and that's going to make the, the separate nuclear envelopes within them. 
and then cytokinesis will produce these two cells. All right? So this one will produce again those same two cells. So, all right, so at the end of the day, we produce four daughter cells. And these are haploid. Okay? So remember before we started with one parent diploid cell. And now we produce these four daughter haploid cells. Okay, so now if you were going to um, compare the two, uh, remember that we started off um, in, in meiosis, we started off with uh, one parent cell, and now we made four haploids. Okay? And we started off with one diploid, made four haploids. In, my, uh, in mitosis, we started with one diploid, and we made two diploids. Okay? Um, in meiosis, we have crossing over, and in mitosis, we don't have that. Okay? Um, in addition to this, we have both of them have one round of DNA replication. Okay? But in meiosis case, we have two rounds of division. Versus in mitosis, we only have one round of division. Okay? Um, so this is just uh, making the exact same copies. And in this one, we're trying to make gametes. Okay?